Hey, bullying and suicide. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, I know a lot of people that that have went through it, and I'm I'm glad that they didn't commit suicide. Gay bullying is basically, you know, you at school. Mostly happens like in middle school, ninth grade. Um, you know, people look at you and be like, oh, she gay, he gay. It, and it's, it's mostly males, though. Cause you know, you look at a female, you think that's sexy and whatever. But it, let me let me do do a search. You know, gay male or whatever, and everybody's coming at your neck like, nigga, you gay, you must want me, so I'm gonna your ass. Is you serious? No, that doesn't mean he gay, so he wants every male walking around. Bitch, keys up. I mean, I, I, <laughs> that was more tunnel with. Kill, kill it. Because at the end of the day, you got to understand, you live for you. You made a decision for yourself. Nobody, your parents, your friends, associates, teachers, employees, other motherfuckers that don't, that don't make, don't matter to you, cannot tell you, I want you to be straight, you're going to be just going, you're going to be straight, and I'm going to say it's a gay to straight camp. First of all, gay to straight camp is bullshit to me. You want to send me to a fucking therapist to go straight? Go <laughs> for uh, it. If somebody's bullying you, you need to learn how to say fuck it and go about your business. And learn how to fight. Because if somebody put their hands on you, something my mama always told me. Somebody put their hands on you, you better hit their ass back. And if I find out you lost a fight, I'm going to feel ass and send you back out there. Y'all need some black parents. Straight up. Never let nobody try to make you what they want you to be. You have to live your life for you and you only. Because when you die, not by yourself. Let God take you the way he wants to take you. When you die... You're going to die by yourself. No, there's not some type of magical portal where niggas could jump in with you. No, it doesn't fucking work like that. I'm being realistic with you. Now, for suicide, that's a whole motherfucking different topic. That's some shit. I, I have never had a friend that committed suicide. I mean, I had niggas that tried to attempt, but... Well, either I stopped them or other people stopped them. Let me break you down this story. So, we're in middle school. No, yeah, since grade year, I was living in Florida at the time. I don't think nobody knows this. I'm not even going to put her name out there. But that was my friend, my dog, my son. Hey, son, what's up? So, I guess she she's Asian and she's gay. Now, you know. Asian, Chinese, and shit. You gay. Your parents basically just own your ass for whatever reason. So, her parents just owned her when she came up. And then, when people started to find out at school that she was gay, this girl wrapped that girl hair around her hand and smashed her head into the locker. Like, was beating the fuck. I wasn't dead. I came to school late. I'm a late bloomer. I don't like to wake up early for nobody. But when I heard about it, please believe I was somebody ass. You ain't about to fuck with my friend like that. I got suspended for like 10 days. I don't know what the fuck. That's old shit. Anyways, so for that fact, it was like, really? You gonna, and this, this is the killer part. She went home. Parents was in the, I'm keep calling her. She's not answering her house phone. So I was like, Ma, I'm coming right back. I need to go two o'clock. You know, I'm about to go see Erica. Okay. Nobody knows her. <laughs> I don't think nobody knows her. But anyways, I'm going to see her. And this girl in the tub, under the water, pill. Like, they got four different types of pills that go I'm like, what? First of all, I, I don't really deal with that that very well. I really don't. So for me to see, I didn't know what the fuck to do. First time I did, call her mom, call the police, and I got her out the water. 
That's my friend. I wasn't doing no mouth to mouth. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't. I wasn't doing. It. But she wasn't dead because she had a false. For my point is, don't let little things, stupid things, fuck up your life, and then you want to take your life. Every morning when you wake up, look in the mirror and say, "I love me. I love me. I do it. I love me. I love me some me." I love me some me. Nobody, if nobody love me, I love me. Straight up. And that's how you should be. So if you're thinking about committing suicide, think twice. Love y'all. Everybody out there, I love y'all. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? For your support, for your love, and for everybody out there that's thinking about committing suicide, think twice. Because if nobody loves you, I love you. Hit me up and I got you. Yeah,